So uh, we have conceptual questions for waves and sound. Uh, let's look at this uh, first question, which I suspect ChatGPT won't do well, but uh, we'll see. So this uh, figure here, it has an accessible text, so there's a description of the graphs. But I don't know if, if uh, ChatGPT can actually parse that. Um, so in the what is the signals? Yeah, and figure ratios, and there's a whole description. Here it is. I encourage you to give an answer in graph form. Uh, and let me just delete the links to external sites. It, it doesn't confuse it, but all the spelling, you may also give a, yeah, your answer in words, describe, yeah. And I expect to check it, or I wouldn't be too surprised if a GPT is able to give. Um, the answer. You did at about an edge point in time. Let's see. At x equals zero, yeah, they are both to zero. At x equals three, yeah, they add up to four. Oh wow! Is it doing the math correctly? Five, five to seven, um, and seven. A blue if it drops to minus one. So. So some of the two, yeah, and the seven to eight, yeah, it remains at two. It eight jumps to minus two, so they, oh wow, I think it did it correctly. I am so impressed. <laughs> oh wow. Um, Uh, now it did it incorrectly. It doesn't increase linearly. It suddenly jumps. So, but uh, it, it did uh, so well in the first part. Um, the whole dec decreasing linearly part, you know, they are um, they are wrong. But um, and I don't know what this is. Um, it might be um, this might be part of its a training text, probably in some check answer. I can imagine that that might be how it did so well, because um, it was basically copying and pasting from someone else answering it before. Um, so I, until this point, Imgur image, uh, I was impressed. And then I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> um, so. When I ask this, it should uh, kind of know enough that I haven't asked the question yet. Yeah, you can guess. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, why is it? It's answering a question that I didn't ask. Uh, all right, let's ask the questions. So when I ask, hey, I think it's already kind of answered it. It might just repeat its answer. Yeah, and uh, you know, if I see these answers, instant answer, the first thing that hints to me that it's ChatGPT. So it's so long and wordy, like flat, rigid plates made out of metal, so it's made out of glass. Um, <laughs> like, why so much detail? Like unnecessary. Um, uh, two dimensional, yeah. Patterns of lines, yeah. I mean, it, it's a good answer, um, and. Uh, if a student is able to produce that in real time, yeah, I'd be impressed at your detailed knowledge. But when it's written, I'm going to suspect it's a chat GPT answer. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think at the edge, it would be kind of a free, it would be similar to a free end of a string. But then, you know, I do see these nodal lines ending at the edge. So um, I get a sense that it's a bit complex. Um, um, yeah, that's way too over simplistic. No, that's not it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a fixed boundary. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like a, a free end. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, fixed the boundary in the sense that boundary doesn't move around, but that fixed the boundary that doesn't move around could be like a free end of a, a wave on a string where it moves the most so you get anti-nodes 
or it could be like a fixed end uh, or like a tied down end uh, that gives node. And when you look at the shapes, um, you see a bunch of different things. Sometimes the nodal lines end right there, but sometimes you get uh, ones that look like antinodes. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it that it's a uh, uh, well, it's a uh, um, it's complex, complicated. Okay, last question. Describe what a sonic boom and shock waves are. Uh, I, I'm not gonna give it videos because that doesn't actually add anything. And I think this is, I think ChatGPT will answer fine. It's the kind of question it does well on. Yeah. And shock wave is a more general term for uh, any time. Um, when, yeah, the speed of sound in the fluid. And you can also produce a light shock wave um, called uh, Cherenkov radiation. So, yeah, I mean, the well, conditions are like something moving faster. Yeah. So let me ask you this question. Is Cherenkov radiation a type of a shock wave? By the way, I, I don't expect you to mention Cherenkov radiation because it's at, um, at most uh, maybe physics 4B topic. What? Yeah, that's a shock wave. It doesn't, uh, I don't think that's a correct. Um, okay, not that I'm going to appeal to authority of the internet, but if I simply search the Google, is Cherenkov radiation a type of shock wave? And yeah, it's an electromagnetic shock wave. ChatGPT <laughs> is wrong. I and this Hong Kong observatory is right. <laughs> I don't know. It's a kind of, uh, it's a, I guess, metaphorical language. Because uh, um, I think ChatGPT is going by the definition of shockwave, where shockwave is uh, uh, one having to do mechanical waves, sound waves. So I don't know. I, it's not. Uh, I think this session is coming to an end, and I don't really want to argue with ChatGPT on if a shock wave can be anything other than a sound wave. So I'm gonna end it here. Um,